Welcome to the Top 500 with Jonathan and Jake. Ring. Ring. Hello? Hey, this is, um, is this podcast, uh, support? Uh... This isn't podcast support, but it's podcast IT help, oh, if that's what you were looking for. I can transfer like... you over to support. Yeah, could you do that for really quick? Yeah, one second. Okay. Wow, oh, it's a confusing song. Hi, this is podcast support. Wow, hey. Uh, oh, this... sorry, let me turn my levels down a little bit. Okay. <laughs> we record, uh, we, we, we talk uh, on the phone on a mic, on a microphone. Yeah. Uh, so hearing me through like a mic. Like podcast. Is, yeah, yeah, it's just so we can control the levels and everything, just to make sure it's yeah, always yeah, coming yeah. through. Listen, really I don't, I'm not trying to keep this bit going forever, so I'll just get straight to the point. I, I need a co-host from the podcast. I'm starting a podcast. This uh-huh. is the first episode. And uh, I need a co-host. Can you guys help me with that? I mean... I can ask around. I don't think anybody can really help you around here unless the podcast is about movies or something. That's it's really actually oriented. exactly about movies. About uh, it's a, a list of five hundred best movies. Five hundred best movies. The five. It's called the top five hundred. Yeah. Inch. Well, my name is Jonathan Gautier, and I think that I could be your co-host on that podcast. What is your name? Jake Magruder, and that's how it all started. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the top five hundred. <laughs> so, welcome to the top five hundred. It's a podcast where two. Movie dudes talk about movies. We watched. We got a list of 500 best movies from uh, from the internet, and uh, we 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 watch them one by one, and we talk about them. And um, my name's Jake. My name is Jonathan. Welcome John, how are you doing? To the today? Podcast. I'm doing fantastic. I'm doing a lot better after uh, watching tonight's movie. I thought it tonight's was movie was a just a delight. Phenomenal. Yeah. Um, we started off. Uh, with number 500 on the list. Yes, we did. Which was uh, David Fincher's Gone Girl. Yeah, exactly. Well, I actually... I'm going to stop you right there because I have a surprise for you. Um, so, we wanted to go all out. So, we'll talk about how this show started and a little bit about us. But I thought before we talk about ourselves, we actually have a third co-host. Do we? We got it in I'm the I'm clearly new to we this podcast, so I was yeah. not aware. Um, so... I thought I would just let him introduce himself. Okay. All right, so here he goes. Hello, I am T500 Robot, <laughs> and third co-host of the Top 500 Podcast. Can you believe it? We that's got a, in, we no, got a robot. I heard that they are very hard to get on podcasts. They actually. are so hard. They are so How hard. How did you bring that about? Um, well, I thought actually maybe T500, <laughs> you could tell us a little bit more about yourself. Would that is that okay with you? I'd Thank like you, it. Jake. I am 30 years old and have been programmed to make announcements during the show's runtime, as well as deliver hilarious jokes when the other co-hosts have dropped their respective <laughs> comedy ball. <laughs> oh, That's incredible. he's got, he's like a funny, he's like a funny. That'll actually help out. We are I not. I feel like we're not very funny. We're not very Could funny. you give us a, an example of a I joke, T-500? Okay, Jake. Here I go. Why was six afraid of seven? Classic. Why what? This, why think. was six? Why was six afraid of seven? T five hundred. It was not. Both are numerical digits and therefore have no capability of abstract emotion. Oh. I know this because I have been programmed with a great understanding of the world of mathematics. You would know. Huh. Huh. He, cr- <laughs> he cracked himself <laughs> up. Oh, I that's when you know that. it's a good joke is when you can't hold your own laugh I, back. I know. Yeah, I agree. That's what shows. Well, do you want to say something? Do you want to ask him, like, a question or something? Uh, T-500, have you ever been in love? I apologize, tall, handsome man. I have only been programmed to respond to Jake at this time. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. I, maybe he'll, maybe he'll, like, his programming go, get better as... That could be, that'd be nice. As we go along. Yeah, if the budget goes up, maybe... Maybe, maybe. maybe. We'll, we'll get a T-600. You actually said something. T-500, what movie are we watching? What, what movie did we all watch today? Today's movie is David Fincher's Gone Girl, starring Ben Affleck and Rosamund Pike. Oh, wow. Was, That's my was. bad. I jumped the gun Everybody on that. Everybody give it up for T-500. <laughs> that was incredible. What a T-500. You'll be hearing more of his voice throughout I the episode. So. Not, not, I mean, we won't, because his programming only allowed him that much. I thought it would uh, behoove the, the listening audience if we kind of introduced ourselves, and then in the first like segment before we talk about the movie... 
introduce ourselves and kind of give a background on the show. So do you want to start? Sounds good. Tell us about yourself, how you got here, and your favorite movie. Oh. It's like one of those fun, like, first day of college things. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The know? icebreaker. Exactly. The icebreaker, because everyone feels really awkward Exactly, right now, yeah. Tell. Well, my Except name is... Uh, yeah, no, T500 is clearly Vlax right now. Mm-hmm. He's feeling He's good. He's awesome. But, uh, no, my name is Jonathan Gautier. I'm actually from Bentonville, Arkansas. Um, living right now in Cape Girardeau. Just graduated from Southeast Missouri State University with a major in TV and film. Um, I like writing a lot, which I would probably throw out there as um, a little factoid about myself. And uh, my favorite movie is actually a movie called In Bruges, uh, which stars Colin Farrell Great and half of the Harry Potter cast. You're right. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of Harry Potter people there in there. It's very interesting. And they all kill it. It's fantastic. It's, it's so good. But it, you could tell, you know, because, of course, everyone knows Harry Potter is like the epil- uh, the uh, prologue. Upper, epi- upper echelon of, of filmmaking. Oh, I thought you meant Harry Potter was a prologue to Imbruge. They're in the same world, probably. Same but, universe? Yeah, there's it was just, like before it's, the it's about all the muggles. Yeah. It- <laughs> it's a muggle movie. It's a muggle movie. For sure. Uh, my name is Jake Magruder. I am from right here in the boot heel of Missouri. Missouri, as the as locals the call say. him. Him being Missouri. Uh, I also am currently in at Southeast Missouri State University and majoring in the TV and film department. And I'm loving it. And I, um, I love writing and I love making movies. And... I want to do that for the rest of my life. And my favorite movie, I go back and forth between, I mean, how can you beat 2001, right? But, like, I think the one that I would watch most is Ferris Bueller. Really? Yeah. That answer changes up sometimes. I really thought you were going to say Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I do love Scott Pilgrim vs. the World a lot. And I do think it's like Ferris Bueller in that, and I think the same way you feel about him, Bruce, I think it's perfect. But, yes. Um, also Rushmore by Wes Anderson. Exactly. We, so we, we like a lot of movies, <laughs> unsurprisingly. Um, a little background of the show. So we're recording this January... 3rd. Well, actually... New Year. It's New midnight, year. so it's January 4th, 4th. As, as we're coming yeah, to Yeah, we live. do a little late night session. Um, I, I mean, almost a year ago, in March, when everything started kicking up with mm-hmm. He Who Shall Not Be Named... Yes. Um... Mm-hmm. We recorded an episode of this show, but it was different. We were using a different list mm-hmm. um, than the one we're using right now. That list ended. The movie, the, the list was cut off in 2008. Eight, yeah. So nothing past like Dark Knight Rises. Exactly. Was Dark Knight Rises time period. Or not Dark Knight Rises, just Dark Knight was making it, was making yeah, it on that so list. Yeah, so we found a new list, which is what we're using for this Mm-hmm. edition of the show and this list is a lot more statistically accurate exactly now yeah. the first list uh, seemed to have been based a lot more on like blockbuster hits and like mm-hmm. i think I it was because it was made by the, the the previous list not to confuse everybody but mm-hmm. the previous list was made by empire which was it's like a you know it's like a journalism mm-hmm. journalist source i yeah. guess um and it seemed like they were they did the same thing this list did where they like took statistically what rated highest but i think it was only what Empire had rated highest. So, like, over the last... Yeah. All the movies yeah, that Empire... Their own catalog. Yeah, so this one is much more... Years. First of all, it's got a lot more recent stuff up till, I think, early 2019. And then, um... And then it is also statistically over the span of the internet. Like, it's like IMDb score, Rotten Tomatoes, yeah. uh, cr- all the critics' r- reviews... Um, audience score like this. This list compiled a bunch well of them. Yeah. So, uh, but anyways, we recorded the first episode back in April, um, which was kind of like f- funny enough. Our like little pilot for the show because um, we recorded it, we put it online, we recorded a second episode. Never because of circumstances, we never got the second episode up, and so. I don't know about you. I just kind of thought it was just like, okay, well, that was fun. And it was like a, I, it was a fun idea. Um, not really expecting it to make a comment. We had talked about it, like, we should, mm-hmm. you know, pick yeah, it, it was, up. Yeah, or, it was in the pipeline for a long while, but it was, it was put on the back burner. I didn't for a see bit. it picking up. Yeah. Uh, and then somebody from the Arrow Podcast Network mm-hmm. uh, said that they were looking for new shows. Um, so on a whim one night on our couch, I just sent. It was already like private on YouTube, like it wasn't public anymore. I just sent them the link, and they picked it up. And so now we have the show. So here we are. Here we are, and um, 
I'm excited. 500 movies, only one can survive. And only one can be number one. That's right. And you won't hear about that until... 10 years from now. 500, 10 years from Potentially, now. Potentially, <laughs> if things go well, we got a good 10 years before... That's true. Hopefully you don't spoil it for yourself. Actually, ironically enough, um, on the YouTube video... We're going to put a link to the Letterbox review. So if you guys want to keep up mm -hmm. every week. Or check the catalog out and watch some great movies for yourself. Yeah, and just get ahead of us. Episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they'll be there. And so um, with that being said, I think we're going to take a little break. And then we'll come back and get into the meat of the movie, which is... Gone Girl. David Fincher. Ben Affleck. Uh, Rosamund Pike. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, here's a word from our sponsor, and then we'll be right back. The top 500 will be right back after these messages. Hi, everyone. I'm Daria Lawson, host of Decomposing, one of the Arrow Podcast Network's featured shows. If you love music, analysis, and the music world's questions and contemplations, check out the show and tons of other Arrow podcasts at southeastarrow.com forward slash multimedia. 